Tucker. Today's the annual country fair. I'm taking my entry in the Hooray for Souffle contest over to the fairgrounds. While I'm gone, you have to babysit my niece. What? No way. Maybe you should get busy reviewing paragraph 3, subsection C, item 21A of your rental agreement. Ah! <laughs> Must babysit whenever needed or face eviction. Oh, man. She certainly looks uh, related. She's been at that book all week trying to earn a country cadet talent badge. Jeannie, <laughs> ah! Woody here is gonna help you find a talent while I'm gone. There better not be any problems, Woodpecker, or believe you me, there'll be problems. Ta ta. So, you uh, figure out your talent yet? Nope. Mind if I watch TV while you figure it out? Nope. Mind if I pick a nap? Nope. Uh, all right, then. <laughs> huh? What? What's the matter? What do you think I'm good at, Mr. Woodpecker? Bothering me. That, Mr. Woodpecker. Maybe you could show me that. <sighs> I'm good at napping. Watch. <laughs> yeah, what? My Country Cadets Handbook says woodpeckers are good with wood projects. Yep, yeah, I'm real good with wood. When I'm not napping. <laughs> Wood is not your talent. Well, not yet. Well, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No! Yeah! <laughs> hey, you can't cut down my tree for your talent badge. <laughs> then you have to help me find something else. Balling. We'll find a talent that's quiet! How about meteorology? Perfect. You study the weather, and I'll go study the inside of my eyelids. Back to what I do best. Hmm. I need a weather thing. I don't have a rooster. But I do have a woodpecker. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting windy. <laughs> Jeannie! <laughs> what am I doing up here? Helping me with my meteorology talent badge. Which direction do you think you're blowing now, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> be your talent. Are you sure? It's delicate, quiet work. Now go collect some bugs and then eh, study what they do. <sighs> Hello? Are you in there, bugs? Hello? Hey, what do you think you're doing, Missy? We live here. You could hurt someone with that kind of poking. I'm studying bugs. What do you do? <laughs> We're ants! We take food and we eat it. It's a living. Okay. No problem. Django leader to Echo Base. We are go for Operation Deep Freeze. Retreat! 
exactly what your talent is, Genie. Woodpecker, I'm selling my property. Ooh, you mean it? You're leaving? I'll help you pack. It's your nonsense I'm particularly sick of. You busting my roof, destroying my lawn. I'm through with it all, I tell ya. So long. Don't forget to write. Miss Meanie, I would want to buy this lovely property of yours, yeah, sure. Do tell me more, walrus. And I would yop down this tree. Oh, wait, Wally, not my tree. Right up an offer, Mr. Walrus. You buy this place and you can do anything you want with that tree. Meantime, I'm trying out the very exclusive, very modern Mondo Condos across town. And if all goes well, I'll be signing on their dotted line tomorrow. No more homeowner headaches and no more woodpecker. That's right, no more woodpecker. Mm, mm, mm. But you can't kick me out into the cruel, cruel world like this. What'll become of me? Where'll I go? You'll get off my windshield, for starters, woodpecker. <laughs> I'm going to have to show her the grass is greener on this side of the fence. <laughs> You'll be staying the weekend in our luxurious sample unit, Ms. Meany. I tell you, dearie, a Mondo condo very nearly takes care of itself. Hot diggity! And I hope we'll find that you're Mondo condo kind of people, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> Now, let's see what this modern condo living is all about. Please step away from the Easy Pal 9000. Step away from the system. <gasps> oh, my! The automated settings have been preset to maximize your living ease. Well, isn't this convenient? Step onto the automated floor covering. The Easy Pal 9000 will escort you into the home of the future. Oh. Whoa! Oh, Miss Needy, darling, did we hear some noise? Ah! Uh, be right with you! Land sakes! Ah! We just wanted to remind you about our little poolside social. Oh, are you kidding? I wouldn't dream of wearing this old thing, not in a million! <laughs> And, and tell you what, why don't I whip up a little snacky treat for the little eat and greet? Phew. I'll bet my automated kitchen can help me pull something together and I'll automatically be in with the in crowd. <laughs> automatically. That's a good one. I'll make my famous turkey souffle. <laughs> Your turkey is done. Holy smoking turkey! <laughs> what now? <laughs> oh. One more 
for modern convenience, and Mimi will beg to go back home. <laughs> oh, my soaking lumbar. <sighs> ah, time to relax. Just lie back and allow the Mondo Condo's fully automatic massage chair to work its magic. Miss Mimi, there's something we should discuss. Why, I never. at Mondo Condo, Ms. Meanie. So, toodaloo. Feel free to come back and visit. Uh, never. Now, you listen to me, Mr. and Mrs. Snooty Pants. <gasps> Who would stand for this nerve-wracking, hooty-tooty automated living you think is so modern? Certainly not me. That's who. So, toodaloo to you. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? Uh, how about, well, 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 I'm just coming to check the place out. Uh, with you selling my, my treehouse, I, I gotta live somewhere, you know. Ah! Forget it, Woody. <laughs> I wouldn't even let you live here. <laughs> oh, that's music to my ears, Woodpecker. <laughs>
more relaxing than doing nothing all day. Hey, Woody! Today's the big three-way water race down at the beach. Will you be my coach? Oh, no. Nothing doing, Winnie. Sounds like way too much work. I've been practicing all three of the big events. Swimming... <laughs> Diving... The prize. The prize? The winners get a two-week tropical vacation on board the biggest party yacht in the world. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's hit the beach and win that prize, Winnie. Hop to, hop to, hop to. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Beach Extravaganza. The thrilling ocean event that combines swimming, diving, and surfing. Oh, boys. This vacation prize package looks like heaven on earth. Oh! We got a race to win, Twiggy. Get your mind where it belongs. On women? On cheating. The first leg will be the mile swim. A sprint to the boy where the winner will claim the first of three flags. Eh, doesn't sound so tough to me. <laughs> That's probably because I'm the one swimming. Good luck, sports. And get used to looking at this. Cause you'll be behind me staring at it the whole way. <laughs> no way. We're winning this race. <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> get ready to swim, Tweaky. Swim? Oh no, bossy. I sink a lot. Oh, don't worry. When you push this little button here, you'll become instantly unsinkable. On your marks. Get set, and go! Oh, water reflectors! I'm swimming, boss! I'm swimming! Shut your yap and swim harder! vacation, don't you? Yeah, but just once I'd like to be the one putting rocks in your pants. Divers ready, set, and dive. Dive, Winnie, dive. Off you go. Wow. <laughs> goes to Winnie and Woody Woodpecker. That means we're down to the final event, surfing. Winnie, you do the surfing, I'll watch the cheating. These woodpeckers aren't getting turnpiked, no way. Oh, oh, oh boss, this ain't working so good. Ooh. Animal hold 
quit your grousing. Now to take care of them woodpeckers once and for all. Oh, a shark! A shark! Ah, knock it off. It's just me. Oh, I, not everyone can carry off that look, but you can, boss. Get ready, Winnie. There's something fishy going on out there. Ah, shark! Fishy like a buzzard shark. food. They're an ant's Shangri-La. Is Shangri-La French for food? Ah! Move out! <laughs> now the orange, Grant. Take the orange. Spray you, Woodpecker, but if you keep bothering me, I will, by Yingo. Lower in the house, Anthony. Hey, what you squawking? You're surrounded by food, aren't you? <laughs> Say, what are you doing with my grub, bub? Don't mind us, woodpecker. We got an eating disorder. As in, disorder is to go. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
violates the laws of the Geneva Convention. Antica! 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 Huh? Industrious little critters, aren't they? Well, I'm just gonna have that. What? <laughs> This motion detector will take care of anything that moves. So, you've had enough, have you? Greetings. We offer you this peace, off uh, peace offering in an attempt to form a trace... Truce with your tallness and big-footedness. Truce, huh? I thought you guys would come around. Now beat it so I can enjoy my day. Food, here we come. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. Get back here with my food. What's going on? I'm trying to have a nice picnic over here. Keep it down. Nice picnic? Nice picnic? Oh, yeah. A nice picnic. I know just what you mean. Mean Shafird and Thirden, you crazy woodpecker. You think he's stopping? I don't know. Let's take a look. Ready? <gasps> Anthony, look! Shangri-La! So long! See you later! Nice doing business with you! If you can't beat them, send them to your neighbor! No! Lance! No! Get away! <laughs>
Good morning. May I help you? Yeah. How about a menu? I beg your pardon. A menu. Menu. M E N N Y O U U. Menu. Perhaps you mean our price list. Hmm? Yeah. What's your feeling prices? Today. Could be. We all have our off days. Hmm. Uh, cut off the smart crack and bring me some food. Uh, bring me some French fried soup and a big T-bone steak smothered in pork chop. And uh, let's see what else I have. <laughs> Sergeant, I know you were heading out on vacation. Well, 
The Antarctic Corps would like you to take it right here. But, sir, I was going to a warm tropical island. You scratch our back and we'll scratch yours, Hogwash. I'm assigning you to a priority one assignment. The military has been working on this secret biodome for over a year. What you're about to see is top secret, meant for your eyes only. <gasps> it's a paradise. Yes, it's the pinnacle of modern military science. Everything here, from the steam from the artificial volcano to the smallest green of sand, is designed to nurture a single precious crop. I hope it's yams. I love yams. Whoa! Ultra Nanas! A bioengineered superfood with all the nutrients for the army on the move. Oh, it's not yams. Sergeant, you are not to eat the bananas or touch the bananas. You are only to look at the bananas when you're feeding and watering them. Understood, sir. On second thought, you better not even look at him. Uh, sir, about my vacation? Enjoy it, Sergeant. As long as the structure is secure and the Ultra Nanas are thriving, you are free to enjoy all the dome's amenities. Carry on! Sir, yes, sir, CN, sundry, CN, sir! Vacation? Here I go. A little drip here and a little bitty drop there. And now it's time to unwind. receive a lesson in tree trajectory. You can escape hogwash o' the jungle, did you? Well, no knick-knack, jingle jungling way, Pee-wee. You are hereby dishonorably discharged! Here you go, my little thirsty worsty. A drinky winky. And don't you worry, that bad boy penguin won't bother you anymore. Now it's time to play. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, 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 Pilfering penguin's gonna foul up my furlough.
disfigured by the paradise penguin. Uh oh. Ooh. You get back here! Stars and stripes! Hogwash! Major Bull, good to be you. See you, sir. Or be seeing you. Captain Lady, sing this song. Your vacation leave is permanently terminated until you fix that biodome top to bottom and regrow those ultra Now move it, move it, move it, move it, move it! We here? A penguin behind enemy lines? <laughs> Am I going to eat you? No, oh, no, no, heaven forbid! For you see, I am a vegetarian polar bear. We have sworn off all meat, my potbelly chum and I. So, you being just such a meat product yourself, are in no danger of becoming hors d'oeuvre in this facility. Tut, tut, there will be no squabbling. It could alert the enemy. Then all the glorious food in that hut would not become mine. No potato pie to be made from the mounds of spuds therein. No delicious banana nut bread. And uh, no way in without being minced to shish kebab cubes. <sighs> what? Oh. <coughs> you destroy my element of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> How humiliating. Now you listen here, you. There will be no more of your willy minded duckiness. Is that clear? <laughs> Oh, oh, 
capital, positively capital. <laughs> Another brilliant solution. Now you listen here, you rutabaga rubber, you you horseradish highwayman! I demand my fair share of the spoils. <laughs> oh dear, not again. <laughs> ah, once more into the breach. <laughs> Endure.
water. Water. Let's stop the frivolity and analyze the situation. In that bowl, you got a fish, right? Right. And in my stomach, I got an appetite, right? Right. Need I pursue my point any further? Let's make a major. Your fish, my appetite, right? Right. So long, chum. It's been fun knowing you. I made it! I made it! I made it! 